Thieves are now able to gain control of your iPhone and lock you out of it forever. That means you lose all your contacts, photos, files. Bree Fowler is a cybersecurity expert with CNET. She is live now with important information to help you prevent this type of takeover. Bree, how are these people able to access our phones? Can they do it even if we do have a passcode and facial recognition enabled? Yeah, I mean, it, it's important to remember that this is this is still a rare kind of crime. Um, they have to steal your phone and they have to steal your passcode. Uh, if you're using Face ID for the most part in public, you're generally safe from this kind of crime. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's talk about what they do with this information because a lot of people have all kinds of banking information, passwords to everything on their phones. Is I'm sure that they're probably getting into all of that money. Is there a way that we can protect that information in our phone? Well, basically what the cyber criminals are doing is they're kind of stalking people in bars and at sporting events and other kinds of public places and you know, looking over your shoulder to see that passcode. Um, and then they remember the passcode later if you leave the phone on the table, maybe walk away or you know, even rob you. They, they take your phone and they can get into your phone. Uh, once they have that, they can access a lot of the apps, accounts, if you maybe trade crypto on your phone or access your bank accounts, all of that information can be at risk. Now, what about the recovery key? Because wasn't that designed to stop phone hackers? Yeah, Apple rolled out the recovery key a few years ago as an effort to stop online hackers, basically people accessing your Apple ID account. Now, this is different from those crypto and banking accounts because it's more about what you're storing in the cloud. Your Apple ID could be the key to things like all of the photos of your kids that are stored in the cloud or your notes or your contacts, um, message histories, things like that. What the thieves can do once they have your phone and your passcode is go and turn on that recovery key, which if you haven't used it before, you don't have it, or they could change an existing one. And once they have that, you really have no way of getting back into your phone. And Apple isn't gonna know if you are actually you, so they're not gonna be very eager to reset that password or hand over that recovery key to you. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier that if somebody uses facial recognition, that's going to make it a lot safer because they can't get that passcode. But what are some other steps that we can take to make sure we don't go through this kind of drama? Well, we all have to use passcodes once in a while. You know, if your phone restarts or, you know, maybe there's a software update or a bug, what you need to do is set a long, complicated passcode. I mean, if your passcode is 123456, a criminal is going to see that and remember it without much effort. If it's something long and complicated, uh, you know, the odds are they're not going to get that on the first try. Uh, and, you know, be careful about where you enter your passcodes. You know, we, we're we all very aware, say, when we go up to an ATM that we don't want people looking while we're putting in our PIN code. You should treat your phone the same way. And, you know, use things like Touch ID and Face ID whenever you can. Okay, Bree Fowler from CNET, cybersecurity expert. Thanks so much for coming on and just reminding us how important mm -hmm. some of these steps are. Thanks Have a great weekend. You too.